Hey everybody, welcome back to Weird Beers Cheers. I'm DJ, that's Sam behind the camera. Today, we're at Four Fights Distillery. Okay, here at Four Fights Distillery, it may be small, it may be a, just a little tiny family operation, but that doesn't mean anything because their taste is huge. Matt and Donna started Four Fights Distillery in 2014, and ever since then they've grown big amongst the community. Four Fights is a lovely husband and wife operation. With it only being just the two of them, it allows them to put all of their love and faith into their product. When you step into the bar area, you're going to be welcomed by these lovely copper mugs. These copper mugs are part of their Mule Mug Club. For $30, you get your own mug that stays here at the bar area waiting for you each time you come in. They also have a nice little gaming corner and local art on the walls that are for sale. They also have their own merchandise, which includes shot glass holders that they have produced from old barrels that they have used. Out here in the back area, you can see they only have one masher and one electric distiller. That doesn't discourage them from making some of the best products in this area alone. All right. Okay. So what you're seeing here is our latest batch of gin fermenting. It's a mixture of corn and cane sugar. We're going to add a little bit of sugar to this to see if we can cause a little bit of a feeding frenzy of the yeast itself. As it produces the alcohol from the sugar, it releases carbon dioxide, so you'll see a little bit of surface discontinuity, as well as some churning of the uh, mash itself. And how long do you usually let it ferment like this? We ferment anywhere from 7 to 10 days depending on the mash itself. For the all grains, we uh, ferment for 7 days. For anything using cane sugar, we do usually go for almost 10 days to allow full fermentation. Okay. And do you, do you stir or do you just let this all happen naturally? No, everything that you see happens naturally. We don't use any sort of uh, Force carbonation or filtering, everything's done natural, handmade. Okay. So like this process itself is just the yeast consuming all the sugars and producing alcohol right before your eyes. Awesome. Yeah. And how are you? Uh, how are you removing the yeast when you finally get your product to dump into your barrels? But this is a uh, what they call bottom settling yeast. It's a dry blend that you put in, it hydrates and consumes the sugars, and then it will settle down to the bottom of the tank. And from there, we have a stainless steel mesh screen that acts like a French press, where you drop it in, the liquid comes up, the particulate goes to the bottom, and then we pump everything off into the distill itself. Okay. Uh, what sealed it off, there is some minor leakage here you can see. That's what we call the angel share. It's the evaporated whiskey that slowly leaches out of the barrel and evaporates off and sometimes will actually come out through the opening. But what you see here is a ring of caramelized oak sugars that have crystallized and sealed off that leakage during the aging process. One of the amazing things that you guys see folks, these are things that you just don't see every day. These are this is all part of the process. This is what gives you your flavor. This is what gives you your taste. Mm. And this is also what gives you that amazing smell and aroma. Just awesome. Love these little barrels. And this is stuff you don't get. You don't get this at a big distributor. This is things you only get at your local distributors. All right, so I'm gonna start off with their Crystal City Vodka. 40% and 80 proof. The bottle alone looks really good. I can only imagine how this is going to taste. So let's find out. Smells good. Not too, doesn't smell too strong. Doesn't smell like it's going to start my truck in the morning. Smooth but strong. Clears the nose as usual what you're going to get from a vodka. 
but not too harsh. Definitely something that I think you would like to sip on. Just sitting back in the reading room and sipping on a glass of that would go over really good. Up next is their Sweet 101. This is a distilled gin. This one is 44% and 88 proof. My grandma always loved gin. I unfortunately have never been a fan of gin that much, so if I make a Sam face on this, I do apologize. Smells good. Smells like a good cologne, like gin usually does. Not too bad. To me, gin has always tasted a little bit like black licorice. I don't know why. Always has. But it's not too bitey. Not too harsh. If you're into gin, this would be your, just be the way to go. For me personally, not a gin fan. Just kind of smells like my grandfather's Old Spice. I'm sorry, Matt. Don't beat me up. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. Now I'm moving on into their Imperial Moonshine. According to Matt, he says this is the really hard stuff. This right here is 50% and 100 proof. Let's see if my, uh, my weakness doesn't show on this. Doesn't smell too overwhelming, doesn't smell too strong. Kind of makes leads me into believe this is something you get in trouble with. Not harsh at all, actually. That uh, this is something you're going to end up fighting people with at the end of the night because that goes down way too damn easy. I can't imagine how this would be if this was really, really chilled. That uh. That's, that's a sneaky, that, that's sneaky, Matt. That, <laughs> that's actually really good for a moonshine. That's, that's good. That's smooth. I, I have no other words to say other than that. That, huh, damn. For a hundred proof, you're going to end up beating somebody up at the end of the night because you're going to drink far too much of that, more than what you think you should have drank. <laughs> All right, moving on. Here's, here's their bourbon. Their bourbon is 100 proof and 50%. I, you know, when I'm really relaxed and I'm just chilling out by the fire up at the Clark compound, yeah, yeah. I like to, I like to sip on bourbon. I like to sip on it on rocks usually. So um, I really don't have a favorite bourbon that I like to drink. Um, so I'm not partial to anybody. Who knows? Maybe now this might be my go-to. Let's see how it tastes. Smells like bourbon. Full of flavor. Absolutely full of flavor. I actually get a little bit of wood off of that on my palate personally. Sweet. Not harsh at all, even though you can tell my voice <laughs> definitely got the hundred proof on that. Remarkably, I find this to taste stronger and definitely I can tell this is a hundred proof more than I could with the moonshine. Um, and I think that might be because of the, the sugar in this. Matt, what, what all do you guys uh, do with the bourbon? Why, why am I getting this to be a little bit stronger than I did the moonshine? It definitely has a more uh, full gamut of flavors going on with that because it is a different uh, mash bill. You, with this, you're seeing corn, malted red wheat, malted barley, and being that it has been aged in a charred oak barrel, uh, you're going to get a lot more uh, flavor compounds in the final product. I definitely do. I definitely do. I, I don't know if you heard what Matt said, but I'm going to make sure you heard it. I'm going to boost his levels here a little bit later. That is, uh, that's a damn good bourbon. Damn good. All right, moving on. Right here, we got American whiskey. Another 100 proof, 50% alcohol. 
the guys behind the camera are smiling and giggling because yeah it, this is a lot of shots to go through in such a course close quarters of time uh whiskey whiskey was not my friend in college i'm going to tell you that much right now but i do like whiskey on a nice hot day over a couple of cubes of ice sitting outside so let's get into that smells like whiskey smells good not too strong not overbearing on the palate or on the nose pretty damn good nice and smooth another another silent assassin right there i couldn't see this being doesn't taste like it's a hundred a hundred percent which uh this is going to be another another fisticuff drink right here you drink too many of these it's another damn good one another good one not going to argue that one at all all right we're going back into another moonshine right here we have their imperial cinnamon <sighs> anything with cinnamon makes me think about aftershock and i'm quite sure all of you watching have had bad stories with uh drinking aftershock back in the day so at 40 percent 80 proof let's see how this tastes can't be any worse than uh than stories i have that i will keep secret from college it actually doesn't smell that bad it actually smells like a almost smells like if you were to drink a or eat a cinnamon apple pie that smells really damn good not overwhelming at all the cinnamon's definitely there rolls off of the palate very quickly um good it, it, it's damn good a little sweet myself i get a hint of the uh the barrel processing there that that's good that that's this is an adult um aftershock this is this is very good their imperial cinnamon is nothing that i thought it would be and actually i think this would go good with apple pie i think mixing the two of these as a mixed drink would go over quite well um let's move on to the apple pie shall we all right moving on to the apple pie as you saw i had to make a quick little edit there i had a little bit of a microphone issue again the apple pie there's no reason for me to say anything else other than one of the best apple pies i have ever had and i'm proud to say that they're local here in new york state i'm even prouder to say they're here in corning new york i'm even prouder to say that they get their grains locally. Where were you saying you got the grains from again, Matt? Smith Home Farms over on 352. All right, you heard them. Phenomenal, phenomenal. It is just, it, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with our apple pie. The best moonshine apple pie I've ever had in my life. It, I may say that about a lot of drinks, but I, I'm not exaggerating when I say that about their apple pie. Just amazing. If there's anything you purchase from them, if you ever see their products out in a, out in a, in a liquor store somewhere, take advantage of this. Get a bottle of it. It is well worth it. You will not go wrong with their apple pie. and cast strength this batch came out at 131.1 proof which is 
65.55% alcohol. This is going to be rather intense. <coughs> Holy <coughs> <coughs> Wow <laughs> No lie, your voice totally changed <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is <laughs> that is their distiller's cut. That is phenomenal. The taste on that is amazing, but the alcohol content <laughs> definitely is there. I'm DJ. That's Sam. That was Matt in the background. Where we're beers and cheers. Make sure you like, subscribe share the channel. Thank you very much for being with us today.